Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video is a surprise on Lexus and Toyota and it's checking or replacing your hybrid filter. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to notify new videos. And if you find this video helpful, please help me out with a thumbs up. Okay, so if you have a RAV4 hybrid or an NX350H, 450H, and it's a hybrid model, you might want to watch this video. It might save you quite a bit of money in the long run. And for the RAV4 and the NX, the hyper filter is actually on the second row over here. There's a little grill, you can see that over here. So that grill, you don't want to block it at all because that's where the hybrid battery gets cooled down and there's a filter under this grill. So I'm going to open it up and show you which the filter and also put the filter number in the description. If you want to click on that link later to check it out, that's there as well. And Notice that there's a little, little, little screw over here. So it's kind of like a Phillips screw. Sorry to zoom in is not perfect, but you know, so you have to remove this grill cover. So I went ahead and unscrew it already. Just pull it out, a little screw, it's a plastic screw. And before I do that, I think I should remove the plug over there. So you can use a pry tool. I'm gonna have it in the description if you want to get one of those or you can use any tool just be really careful what you're doing because you're working with plastic here and just pull it out I found that the easiest just pull it out and I should slip my fingers in there which you use the pry tool but you guys use a pry tool before you, you know put your finger in there like just like I'm doing to go around the perimeter of the grill and you can easily remove it just remember it slides out to the right so there's a little uh, notch you can see that on the end that's OEM part number G82DH42010 you can find that part of Toyota dealer or Lexus dealer as well you can see that it's a big opening and that's where the battery lives so the battery lives on the second row of the vehicle and you probably want to inspect the filter if it's dirty, you want to clean it. If you could blow the air out or use a vacuum or just replace it. You know, if it's really too dirty, I recommend you replace it then. Now make sure you inspect it carefully. I would say probably want to do it every uh, six months or so. You don't want to spend all the time doing it. Remember to do it every six months. You know, don't wait a year to do it. And definitely don't block the vents to the hybrid battery. So I put it back. This is the orientation when you just click then. You know, it's very really easy to do. Make sure you uh, check also the cover as well and check both sides of the filter if you're gonna reuse it. In my case, the vehicle is around 5,000 miles. It's not really that dirty at all. So I'm just gonna put it back. So once you clip it, you notice that if there's anything dirty inside, you also wanna clean it as well too. Very simple process altogether. And notice is the hybrid battery inside a vehicle. So don't spill any water or anything like that. Don't use any cleaners in particular. So you're gonna slide this over here. You see how I'm doing it? Slide it and push the light push. I'm gonna have to push that the area a little bit more too. If you push, here we go. And the gap will get, um, the panel gaps would be not that big. I need to push that one a little bit more. So went ahead and did that off camera. And then you want to put the, the plug in, then you want to put the screw back in. So it's very simple. This is the plug. And put it in here, right here. It should go in. It's hard to do, I know, holding the camera. Then, you got the screw. It's a plastic screw. So, you know, you don't have to screw it back in. Of course you could, but I'm just going to push it in. And there you go. Job well done. So, like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description for the part number. Hope you liked this video. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up. Comment to share. Please leave it below. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.